everybody, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and welcome to another episode with the Electric Israeli. Uh, today's topic is what happened when the $7,500 tax incentive or the federal tax incentive goes away what will happen to sales of uh, electric cars so first of all for those who are new to this niche uh, not so sure what that means if you buy an electric car or plug-in hybrid car uh, you are entitled to up to $7,500 deduction on your federal taxes so what constitutes the 75 is the size of the battery and I think 16 kilowatt hour battery gets an up gets the full uh, $7,500 so uh, if it's less then it goes down to 45 and 25 and, and something like that so that is the, the the idea it was instituted way way back when Bush was the president actually but really took an effect in the last eight years uh, as 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 more uh, electric and uh, plug-in hybrid cars were more were sold in big quantities so the rule basically if nothing happens if the this administration does absolutely nothing and nothing is changing uh, basically each manufacturer who who sells 200,000 cars in the United States not in the world in the United States reaches the limit of the uh, tax incentive and as they pass the 200,000 it go it goes less and less and less until it disappears I'm not sure how the gradual going down is but the 200,000, I'm sure about the 200,000 uh, uh, sales, 200,000 vehicles sold from a manufacturer, not by the, the, the actual brand, like uh, if Nissan sells this many and Chevy and, uh, and GM sells this many and on and on, that's what constitutes uh, the amount. So 200,000 starts to bring, to phase down the um, $7,500 incentive and then it goes away. So the, the big three are obviously Tesla, Nissan, and GM. Uh, that is the Chevy Volt and the Chevy Bolt and the Chevy Spark. All together, uh, if you, they are well over 100,000 in the United States. And, you know, by, as you see, the sales of electric cars uh, and plug-in hybrid cars, you see that the numbers are increasing every month. Uh, actually exponentially every month uh, which is a good thing uh, for for uh, for electric car sales so that number is going to be reached maybe this year maybe early next year and then what happens so as I said what happens the the, the incentive starts to go in now some some states have their own incentive for example the state of New Jersey has no sales tax on pure electric cars not plug-in hybrids pure electric so the volt that you have to get to pay sales tax, but the leave or the Tesla you don't. In California, for I, for I understand, depending on your income, you can get an additional twenty five hundred dollars on your state income tax. So there are all kinds of incentives and all kinds of uh, things that you can take advantage of in an effort to increase and to encourage people to buy uh, electric and plug-in hybrid cars. So what would happen? Will uh, will uh, sales of electric cars suffer as a result? Well, if you go by by logic, why people buy electric cars in the first place? So, well, some people buy it because there's a great incentive. I mean, the incentive doesn't hurt. Incentive means exactly what it is. It incentivizes you to to buy to buy something. The second uh, the second thing is the second people who buy it, uh, people like me, let's say, who are diehard. This is a, something ideological, and I want it. I would have buy, I would have bought an electric car with or without the incentive. The third category is wealthy people. People who buy Tesla are not necessarily a people who um, care about the incentive. They just have the ability to buy a beautiful, cool, fast, amazing car. So why not? Let's buy that. So there are all kinds of people, but the people who uh, uh, who you want to bring into the mix is. What do you say, middle income people or even low income people who need a car, who want to buy, uh, who need to buy a new car or even a used car. And if there is an incentive for them, it can be a motivator for them to buy this, this car. So, what will happen? Well, what I hope will happen in the next year or two is that 
enough electric cars are already on the road. People are people know what electric car is. People see charging station. You see Teslas all over the place. I see electric cars all the time. That it's not the it's no no more a head turner. Nobody is turning their head when they see my Leaf or Teslas. I don't turn my head when I see Teslas. I mean, I would like to have one, but it's not like oh my God, there's a Tesla. No. Uh, it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's like I see here as a Mercedes or BMW. I, I don't really care, but whatever. So, so it is getting slowly, slowly into the mainstream. The, 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 the big, big uh, um, uh, game changer, obviously the first one was the tax incentive, so it brought more people in. The second big uh, game changer is battery technology. And as battery technology and manufacturing and... What do you call when if you know a little bit about manufacturing is can you copy can you do the same thing all over over and over again and scale it up economy of scales everybody knows what that is so so the combination of economy of scales uh, the ability to manufacture many many cars like this in a very uh, inexpensive way and to bring down the cost of of the uh, of the cost of batteries and that technology uh, will by itself, by default, will make uh, low income, middle income people able to buy cars like this because they will cost as the same as any other car. Well, right now they do if you take all the, the incentives, but if, you, if there's no incentive right now, for example, the Chevy Bolt costs $42,000 for a little pitkalach, uh, you know, a little box, okay? It's, it's a lot of money, man. It's a lot of money. If, you, if you're not a diehard, you ain't buying a car like this. This Leaf, right now, uh, costs you, if you go even with the low trim, $30,000. I mean, you can buy a, uh, I don't know, a, a Ford Fiesta for maybe half the price. So, if the battery technology gets cheaper, uh, if manufacturing gets uh up to scale and you can really make a lot of this for very uh, uh, inexpensive uh, system then uh, by default they will be cheaper and they will be available now car, uh, there's something about um, electric cars two things about electric cars that never going to change and that obviously performance and they perform a hundred times better than gasoline cars uh, obviously maintenance and, and, and running costs are always going to be low. I mean, my last service was absolutely a joke. Uh, you, know, I, I, uh, you know, I just had to pay for wiper blades and, and rotation, uh, and tire rotation. My, <laughs> my uh, 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 service with the Volt cost me seven bucks. I mean, I had points, fine. So it was maybe 50 bucks or whatever it is. But it's really, really inexpensive. And and you obviously if you're electric you don't have to ever put gas and plug-in hybrid uh, my volt i my wife put, put gas every two months sometimes so that's not going to change so that's always going to be incentive so i hope and i pray that in the next year or two as the big three and later on the bmws and others are going to reach that magic number if nothing happens well if something happens and that tax incentive goes away because the congress decided to take it away then then i don't know then what happens but i hope and i think that the economy of scale the uh running cost the the the, the uh, acceleration and performance of this car will make it just another car that you can choose from uh and that will actually Oh, there's another factor I was going to bring it up. It's the fact that you can uh, that other manufacturers who do not did not not nearly reach the 200,000 can benefit, like Fiat or maybe uh, Kia and Hyundai Sonata plugins. And, and I mean, every manufacturer has some kind of a car with a plug. Basically, they all do. So maybe they can benefit in that bridge. So. As they say, let's, uh, let's worry about that bridge when we need to cross it. So, but that bridge is approaching. You can see it, you can see it coming. And so hopefully um, it, there will be a, a, a paradigm shift that the cost is low, the manufacturing is low, the battery technology is low and, and, and all that. So electric and plug-in hybrid cars will be just mainstream and continue in great sales like they do in the last 18 months so i hope you enjoy my little babble 
please like and share my video and help me change the world one electric car at a time.